a little bit more in front look at that how cool i love it good morning ladies and gentlemen fly schnitzel here welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be talking about anti-air more precisely flak rounds or anti-air rounds that explode at a certain altitude bare metric and then we're also going to be talking about proximity fuses and how they are implemented in war thunder and how they could be implemented more in war thunder because right now we do have a proximity shell in war thunder and it's with war thunder naval forces the fletcher class the five inch guns i've seen videos of it it goes near an aircraft and i believe the fletcher uses radio the radio transmitter and then it explodes which is great for big shells bigger is better for proximity fuses at least in world war ii just because even though they miniaturized it and they somehow made it work like again this is in world war ii and there were no solid state electronics back then everything was mechanical so this contraption the proximity fuse the radio transmitter had to withstand twenty thousand g's at cannon launch or when it was fired out of the gun and then it had to withstand 5G's on rotation to whatever target it was going to. And then it still had to work. But back to my original point, the proximity fuse still took up a good chunk of the shell. So if you were to use a small shell, you wouldn't get a good bang for your buck. So bigger shells were preferred just so you had enough shrapnel and explosives to get the job done. So what other ways could we incorporate it, proximity fuses into War Thunder? One is by bomb and it pretty much works it, you drop a bomb and then the radio transmitter will sense the ground and explode at about 30 to 50 feet off the ground which is really really good for infantry or lightly armored targets such as anti-air 30 or 50 feet it explodes above them it will absolutely devastate them but that's about it uh, the best part about a proximity fuse bomb was that it was able to engage things behind cover or in a trench what I'm trying to get at is proximity fused rockets for taking down bombers and other things that fly. Just imagine this, a TU-4 is at 10,000 meters. You're struggling to get up to the altitude, but you have a rocket or two, whatever millimeter they might be, equipped with a proximity fuse system in it. You launch it in the TU-4's direction, and you don't even got to be close. Well, you got well, to be close, but not close in terms of what it is to be close in War Thunder today. Now, sure, we have airburst rockets, but that has to be set mechanically or pre-battle. So if you have set it 2.6 and the TU-4 is 0.8 away, your rocket will do absolutely nothing. But with proximity, you fire in its general direction. You still have to be somewhat accurate and the technology will do the rest for you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I kind of went off on a little tangent here. I just wanted to get a discussion going, um, trying to get what you guys think about adding more proximity systems to War Thunder. And uh, just a little German tidbit before we get into the action today. I got a user mission for you that highlights the beautifulness of an auto-loading proximity fuse uh, anti-aircraft rounds. It's utterly ridiculous. The Germans at the latter part of World War II were developing an 88 millimeter anti-aircraft proximity fuse round. Well, I shouldn't say they started developing it in 1944. They started developing it in the mid-1930s. It was halted in 1940. The Rheinmetall company was told by Hitler to do things more important for the German military effort. But then it was re restarted in 1944 to where it was overrun later by the Allies. But this German 88 millimeter proximity fuse round didn't use radio transmitters. It used electrostatic whatever that might be but it was hard to jam and it wouldn't get triggered by shaft or countermeasures but without any more further ado let's go ahead and hop into the action this user made mission is made by you're done for if you guys want to check it out the mission link will be in the description below for y'all uh, we are using sdk fz222 which isn't a finished model but it doesn't really matter. We're going to be focusing on the proximity fuse 37 millimeters that we're going to be using today. This is just alternative history. See, we're in Korea with a German World War II vehicle. And we will be playing simulator battles just because if we were to play realistic, 
it's going to be locking onto targets, and that's not the point of proximity fuse. We're, we're supposed to have bad aim, and the technology is supposed to make up for us. But here is the model here. As you can see, you kind of get a gist of it. Now, check it out. We'll aim right here. Pop. And it might not look like it did too much damage because that's a TU-4. But let's go for some far-range fighters. So over here, we got some A6M3s. It looks like they're coming for us right now. Wait till they get a little bit closer in a nice formation so we can take out all their ranks. You know what? Here. Here you go, TU-4. As you can see, they explode once they get near the TU-4. And if it gets near nothing, oh my goodness gracious. Let's fire where there's no vehicles or no aircraft. And, and if it's not near anything, nothing happens to it. It just goes and does its business. But if it is close to something, it will explode. Look at that. Oh my God, it looks gorgeous. Now, sorry about there not being a sound effect. Come on. There we go. So much easier to take out a TU-4 with proximity fuse ammunition. Oh, look at that TU-4. Now, where are those fighters at? I just want to get some light targets. Here we go. We got them in sight. Okay, we got a squad right here. A little bit more in front. Look at that. How cool. I love it. Come on, take them out. A little bit higher. Oh, not that effective as I thought it would be. Okay, there we go. I think we're. I think it was just detonating at its uh, maximum range it could. Okay, we're gonna re-engage these zeros here. There we go. Maybe on this one. Right into their ranks. Got one down. Come on. Two down. Three. Three down. Four. Oh, I love it. It just looks so beautiful. This time around, this flak is so much more lethal. In my last video with your done fours uh, missions, we were playing in an ace. Okay, wow. Okay. Have fun, comrade. We were playing with a flak like this, but it wasn't as lethal as it is now. This is definitely boosted for a 37 millimeter. But uh, let's talk about normal flak rounds, ones that were mechanically set by the gun operators before it was fired. I'm just really, really surprised that is not in War Thunder yet. Oh, look at this nice formation over here. Let's just get some rounds on target. But oh, we are not close at all. There we go. Um, but normal... F Whoa. You guys see that? Well done, your four... Or you're done for it proximities off buildings in this game mode like a normal proximity shell would i would assume or maybe would have like a, a dead zone to where it wouldn't detonate until it's at a certain altitude before the proximity fuse kicks in but uh yeah back to the it, sorry guys it's really easy to get distracted in in this uh user made mission with all these tu4s to kill but i think normal flak rounds should be allowed for vehicles that had them IRL. Now, proximity rounds might be a little bit too easy to get a hang of. As you can see, you really don't have to aim too much. So this would just defeat a lot of aircraft in uh, tank RB. I think we just got his elevator. There goes his left engine. Let's keep firing at this formation over here. We don't have to aim that much. We just aim in the, in the vicinity. If it doesn't detonate, we know we're off. If it does, we know we need to just fine tune it a little bit more to get it closer. But user set proximity would be a skill. I would have to look at this TU form. That, okay, he's about two kilometers away. I have to maybe wheel it in with the mouse or something. Two kilometers, load the flak shell, and then hopefully get it as close as possible.
But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video today. In the comments below, let's hear your guys' opinions and feedback of proximity fuses, how they should be implemented, and overall the FLAC 88 with the player set uh, distance or altitude it explodes at. Again, guys, have a great day. Until next time, peace out. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it. It's perfect. Tied to you four. That should hit him really hard. Come on, that was like eight right there. Okay, I think he's going down. Let's get one more.